to include. I'm going to go ahead and leave this. I like to start all my examples from scratch. So the next example I mentioned I would cover is adding images to charts. So once again, there's a couple tactical steps that you have to do to make this work. Um, one, you need to make sure you have image data. So usually the chatter profile picture is a good target for image data. So we're going to go ahead and add, start from my ops data again, and I'm going to change the vertical axis to be the, um, the owner name. And then I also have the, the photos in here. Uh, for me, it's the full photo URL that had the, the chatter images that, that I wanted. And I'm looking for like a leaderboard chart type chart. So I'm going to do some amount. And, and then I'm going to go ahead and sort this descending, right? So images are not on here yet, of course. I need to show you how, how we're going to enable those. So there is the first tactical step you need to do is that we need these strings to be constant with, uh, for, the, for the images. And in order to do that, one simple way, we know that in the data, the photo URL for a user, their chatter photo, will always be the same. However, if you're familiar with doing this multiple grouping on owner ID name and full photo URL, the, there is an opportunity that, that there could be multiples of this grouping. But um, the query engine does not make any assumptions or any determination to know that there is always a one-to-one -one mapping. So for this example, we can use the first function and we go ahead and run the query. And as I mentioned, it has no impact to the output of the query, but what it does is it, uh, it indicates to our query engine now um, that this is definitely going to be a constant and there is only going to be one of these photo URLs. That, that is one piece of the puzzle that is required to make this work. So now I can go ahead and clip that step to my designer and now I have this lens available. So when I drag this on, you can see that there's, we still do not yet have the images. And where do we add the images? It's under the Y axis section, but there's no link here to add something as an image, right? So this is the next tactical step that you need to do. We need to hit Control E on PC, Command E on Mac, and we get into the dashboard JSON. If you have not seen this before, there is a lot to look at, um, but I'm starting with my simple example. I can focus on my lens one step and you can see the query that I was editing. Now, we need to update the numbers, groups, and strings because once we start using one of them, we have to update all of them. So the groups, um, we only we mentioned the full photo URL as a constant. So the only group we really care about is the name. However, the name is a string, and the full photo URL is also a string, so we want to have access to this. And as I mentioned, we also need the numbers, so we need to grab the alias value, some underscore amount, and we paste that in here and we say we are done. So now what you observe is that URL is no longer visible. It is only the rep name. And I mentioned the images are under the Y axis. So now when I activate Y axis, I see the use icons that I can click and activate. And now I have my images available, right? Um, many of these users don't have an actual image updated, but for the ones who did update their chatter profile, that added the user's chatter images. And there you see Astro, uh, one of our favorite mascots. 